Good morning everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today is a Monday for me. As you can see, I've got myself ready for the gym. I've been up a little while actually. Basically got up, had my breakfast, got myself ready for the gym, been doing some editing, and then I'm now actually about to head to the dentist before going to the gym. I've got an appointment there in just less than half an hour, so I'm about to get on my way there now. As I just need like my regular post braces checkup to check my teeth and also I think they're gonna like do like a deep clean of them today as well. I don't know. I will see when I get there. And then straight from there I think I'm gonna go to the gym as it's close by to there. So while I'm out that way, I might as well go there. And yeah, then I've just gotta to go to the post office to post something off for my mum. And I need to go to the supermarket as well to pick up a couple of bits. So just kind of having a morning of getting some kind of tasks done and then probably we'll have a chilled afternoon at home but I need to get on my way because it's probably going to be busy so it might take a while to find some parking. Just finished at the dentist, got my teeth all clean and they're all like nice and shiny and very white now. My mouth feels so weird though. Do you ever get that after the dentist? Your mouth always feels so tense after having it open for so long because when I said they clean them I mean like it was a good thorough clean. I was in there for like a good half an hour and there was multiple different machines and stuff going on. My lips feel really dry. I always forget after the dentist I always need to bring Vaseline with me because my lips always dry out so much but yeah at least I've got them all cleaned although I've now got to go back on Wednesday again because down here or something I don't really know what it, they said it was some kind of filling or something I need doing on this side of my mouth basically so I'm going to go back for an appointment on Wednesday to get that sorted but oh well I don't actually really know what they're going to be doing so it'll be a surprise but I'm going to get on my way to the gym now I'm still just trying to get used to how weird like my lips feel right now seriously need some Vaseline but it's going to be a while before I get home I also really need the loose so I'm going to literally hopefully try and find somewhere close to the gym to park and get straight to the loo as soon as I get there I've literally had to park away as far away from the gym as almost physically possible so i've got a really long walk there now and like i said before i'm bursting for the loo so a long walk in that kind of situation isn't exactly what i'm wanting right now just finished up at the gym i also managed to get that thing posted off for my mum oh got something in my eye literally just so i turned the camera on um managed to also get that thing posted off for my mum just before i went to the gym oh that's so annoying i don't know what's literally just blown into my eye but there's something in there but i'm just on my nice long walk back to the car now there's so many cars around as well so it's so busy out here right now i'm normally out here a lot earlier and there's not normally this many people but it's really busy now and i'm also about to get on my way to the shopping center to go to the supermarket there to pick up a few things and then also my dad's asked me if i can stop by the apple store because he's dropped his phone and it's not working properly now so he wants me to go and see if he needs an appointment to get it fixed or whether he can just like turn up so I might need to go and make an appointment for him later on so that he can get his phone fixed. That was so weird, I just got back to the car and as I was getting in someone like drove past me and they were like, are you leaving? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm about to go and then they were like, okay, thanks and then carried on driving. Like, I thought they were wanting to get into the space but I don't know, that was just really random and weird. It feels so good to finally get some Vaseline on my lips after like a good couple of hours after the dentist oh my god they've been driving me insane they're just so dry i still have that like dentist taste in my mouth i have no idea what it is but i think it's from the rubber gloves you know always after the dentist you have that taste in your mouth that isn't really that nice i mean it's not awful but it's not the best oh that's so much better also couldn't manage to get my dad an appointment there wasn't any left for today he was like i can get you one for tomorrow i was like oh, my dad kind of wants to use his phone today probably won't be wanting to wait till tomorrow but then he was like oh it's fine he can drop by later and then they'll add him to like the waiting list and hopefully within like the next couple of hours or so he can be seen too so hopefully he'll manage to get that sorted but yeah oh my god that just feels so much better now I'm back to having more nice cream, that's coconut vanilla, with these lovely cookie dough pieces from Naomi Smart's Eat Smart book. If you saw my vlogs from like two, three weeks ago, I discovered this recipe for these cookie dough pieces and the nice cream. And that week I was literally having it every day, haven't had it for a little while, decided to make some more today. So I'm sure this will be very tasty. I've been having sort of like a busy, productive, edit editing afternoon after having like lunch and everything i've got a vlog edited a main channel video edited and then now i'm about to sit and eat this 
while watching the Bake Off Professionals program because that was on last night but I was watching Britain's Got Talent final instead. So I'm going to catch up with that and enjoy my nice cream. Also, there's Love Island starting tonight, which I'm so excited for. Let me know if you've watched the first episode as you're obviously watching this vlog the next day after the first episode already. So let me know if you're watching it or if you missed the first episode but planning on getting into it and watching it as well. I'm so excited for it. Literally got so addicted to it last year, but I'm so excited for it to begin again tonight. It's suddenly turned into like a really gray, horrible looking kind of day. I don't know where the sun's gone. It's been so nice and sunny and warm all day and now it's just suddenly gone really dark out here and like this. I'm just about to get cooking up some dinner and I'm gonna try the Meridian Free from Tikka Masala sauce tonight as we tried the Korma one last week and it was really nice. But tikka masala was always like my favourite curry, so I'm so excited that there's a free from sauce and it's all like really good simple ingredients without any kind of like random preservatives and artificial things added to it. It's just, I could probably replicate it, but I'd need to know like the exact kind of quantities, but I mean I could give it a go. So I've currently got some chicken on the go and some rice and then I've also cut up some fresh coriander to add into the sauces. That was really nice last time and then hopefully this will be really tasty. It's a really quick simple dinner though. Once again, the curry sauce was pretty good that was like by meridian as well which is the same brand as the almond butter that i buy that's why of course i bought that sauce originally knowing how much i love that almond butter if you did see a vlog last week i can't remember when it was we tried that korma one me and my mum were just saying that we think we prefer the tikka masala one but then we always like tikka masala like more anyway over korma so yeah but it was really tasty actually so definitely worth trying if you're feeling lazy but want a good curry that's still made with like really good ingredients as well. Definitely check out the Meridian curry sauces, can recommend both of them, they're both really good. My mum's currently got Billy in the kitchen trying to get him to eat some food because he didn't eat his dinner properly. But Bobby always tries to take his food if he's in there as well, so I'm supposed to be out here trying to strap Bob's. As soon as Bobby heard the food going in the kitchen though, he's just waiting outside the door. I brought out this big toy for them to play with. Bob's has just completely lost interest in it though, as soon as he heard the food go. So instead I'm just entertaining myself with this toy and I'm currently trying to balance on it. I don't even know why, okay, I'm doing a really bad job of that. I'm like, if he's not going to play with it, I might as well make use of it. Bobby, no, you can't go in there, gorgeous. Baby needs his food. Gonna let him have some food, okay? I'm gonna just see how long I can stand on here. I don't even know. I'm in one of those weird moods right now where you don't even know what you're doing, but <laughs> it's entertaining me. It reminds me of those like beam things that used to walk across like when you're younger in the park, you know, those wooden planks that are like raised off the ground. Ah, okay, no, it's actually kind of hurting my feet. I feel like I need shoes on to do this. I did quite a good job there though of balancing on it. It's a pretty long rope toy. I can't remember how long exactly. I mean, you can't really tell on camera, but like here's my foot. And here's the toy. I mean, you can see how long it is and how much Bailey's already wrecked it, but he hasn't been through it yet, which is good. I've now seen how long Bob's will manage to balance that on his back for. He just really isn't bothered, to be honest. He's doing a pretty good job of it, though. I'm just waiting for him to move and see if it'll actually stay on there, but he's kind of distracted by the food in the kitchen right now. You both in one crate! That's what it used to be like! <laughs> a bit squashy in there now, isn't it, for you both? <laughs> Bailey's trying to get back in. I don't know what Bob's no, is baby. chewing on. Bailey, leave the towel. Where's Bob's got? Surprised you both actually managed to get in there at the same time. There's currently less than five minutes till the island starts. So I'm just getting the kettle on, ready to make myself a cup of tea. I think Dad's just getting back in. The dog's getting a bit excited. He's just going to pick up his phone. But yeah, just getting the kettle on, go make myself a cup of green tea to have while watching it. This reminds me of like last summer when I started vlogging was towards the beginning of July, I think. And it's when Love Island was on, it was in the middle of Love Island. And just checking Bob's isn't opening the door, that's his new thing. He's figured out how to open the front door and loves doing it anytime someone's coming home. He always tries to open it, it's his new fave game to play. But yeah, it reminds me of what I was saying of last year, yeah, because that's when I first started, was in the middle of Love Island actually. So yeah, but that's about to start, so we're going to get watching that and then I think I'll probably head to bed after watching it so i hope you enjoyed today's vlog smash the big thumbs up if you did as well as clicking the little red subscribe button down below for you and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog bye